Hey, Greeny here. In this video, I will show you two easy methods on how to live stream pre-recorded videos to Facebook Live, YouTube, or any other platform. The first method I like to call the DIY method because you have to do everything yourself, but it will be mostly free. And in the second part of this video, I will show you a premium method in which you don't have to do anything. It's completely hands-free. You don't even need a computer for it, but this method will cost a little bit of money. However, for both methods, we are going to use an online service called Restream to live stream our pre-recorded videos, not only to YouTube or Facebook, but to both platforms as well as all the other platforms we want to go live on. If you don't have a Restream account, no worries, just use the link in the video description down below to sign up for a free Restream account. The first thing for a DIY method you have to do is you have to download the free software called OBS Studio. This is a software many streamers use to live stream and we are using it to play back a video on our live stream. When you first start OBS Studio, OBS Studio will ask you what you want to do with the software. In our case, we want to live stream with it. So we click on optimizing for streaming. We click next. We choose the resolution in which you want to stream. We click next. Then we choose the service to which we want to stream. And since we're using Restream to stream to multiple services, we here choose Restream, then connect account. And in here you log into the Restream account you just created. And once you have done that, you click on next, confirm that you want to test your internet capacity. The reason for this is OBS Studio needs to know how good your internet connection is, because if your internet is bad, OBS needs to reduce the quality of the video in order to have a smooth stream, which is not buffering all 10 seconds or so. Once the test is completed, we can say apply settings. And once this is done, we can now bring in our video to OBS Studio. To do that, we go to the source section. On the source section, we click on the plus sign, then go to media source. Inside the media source, we give it a title, like media source, click OK. And then we are selecting the local file, which is the video we want to play. In my case, it's this video, the pre-record video.mp4. So let's open that, click on OK. The video is now already playing and we want to stop that. So we click onto our media source and then onto the stop media button. Your video is now ready to be live streamed and we have to do only one last thing, which is to tell Restream where you want the video to go. To do that, we have to open the Restream website in our web browser and log into the account we just created. Once we logged in, we will be greeted by this dashboard. And what we have to do now is we have to add a destination. To do that, we simply click onto the Add Destination button down here. In my case, let's go for the personal Facebook profile. So let's click on Facebook Live, then connect Facebook with Restream, save, and we're ready to go. In my case, I want to go my pre-recorded video to my personal Facebook account as well as my YouTube account. So I also activate my YouTube account, which I connected earlier. Once I've selected all the social profiles on which I want to go live, I simply close this window, click on stream with OBS. And in here, we can now set our title for our live stream, which will go live on YouTube and Facebook. To do this, I click on update titles, pre-recorded video, a description, and set the type of content. In my case, this is more like a podcast or talk show. So I select that. And once I hit update all, all my social profiles will be updated with that title and description. And as soon as we go live, the live stream, which will start on those platforms, will have that title with that description. So very last step, how do we actually start the live stream? To do that, we need to go back to the OBS Studio. To start the live stream, we can now hit Start Streaming in the OBS Studio. And once we did that, we can simply click on the media source and play it. And if we go back to the Restream Live Studio, we now see that the video coming from the OBS Studio is indeed live. As easy as this DIY method is, there are some downsides to it. First of all, everything is dependent on my internet connection. Also, OBS needs to be open and playing the video during the entire stream. So I cannot do something else during this time. I need to be on my computer, start the stream and stop the stream after the video is over. And this brings us to the second part of this video with the, a little bit more premium version. 
uh, Restream, the service we just used to live stream to Facebook and YouTube, they offer a service in which you just upload your video to their service and they live stream it for you. In fact, you don't even need to be on your computer. Everything you need is a video file to upload and a Restream account of the professional plan or higher. So let's take a look how that method works. We are back on the Restream dashboard and this time we simply click on this little cloud icon, which is the video storage. In here, you will see all the videos you have either uploaded to Restream or have imported from either Google Drive or Dropbox. In my case, I want to upload a new video. So I click on upload video, then select the pre-recorded video, open it and it will be uploaded into your Restream account. Once your video has been uploaded, we can simply click on those three buttons and then select Schedule Stream. And in here, we now have to create an event. So for an event, we of course need a title, a description, a date and a time. So let's say this live stream is going live on the 7th of October at exactly 12 a.m. Then click next and on this page we again have to decide on which social profiles we are going live with this live stream. Again, I want to only go live on Facebook and YouTube so I say toggle off all and then just enable my Facebook profile as well as my YouTube. With that said, we then click on create event and Restream will create the event and on the time of the event start streaming that video. And that's the second hands-free method. We just uploaded the video, set when it should go live, and the rest will be done by a restream. As I said before, the DIY method is mostly free, while the second hands-free method costs some money. If you're interested in that second method, check out the link in the video description down below, because there's a link which gives you a seven day free trial of the Restream professional plan. This seven day free trial will give you, of course, access to the features we just talked about, as well as many more. If you never heard of Restream before, I highly recommend you check out the playlist up there in which I talked about many of their other features, because if you're an online content creator, Restream really is one super useful toolkit to have. All right, I hope this video helped you to understand how to live stream a pre-recorded video. And in case it did, please let me know by writing a comment or giving me a thumbs up. All right, I am Greeny, this is Greenbox. Thanks for watching this video. We are now on the end card, so feel free to click one of those videos here on the end card in which I will tell you other useful things to do when you're an online content creator. All right, thanks again for watching. I'm Greeny, this is Greenbox. Bye.